welcome to my video. This is a review of Jeff Haney's Whimsical Fantasy Cats. Now, I'm a huge lover of cats and dogs as well as every single animal on the planet. <laughs> so, when I saw these, I knew that I wanted to review them and just they're screaming to be coloured. So, what I've got here is one of the images is from his Grayscale Whimsical Fantasy Cats book. The other one is from his first book, which was just line art. So I wanted to put them side by side just so you can get a feel of, of the, the difference between his Grayscale and his line art. And I really like the Grayscale, actually, because it's not too dark. Um, some people's Grayscale can be like really dark and intimidating. Whereas this is just, just nice. It just shows you where to put the shadows and things. So I haven't really decided which one I want to colour because I love them both. Um, and we're just going to throw everything at these pictures. I have no specific pencils or pens I want to use. We're just going to do like a mixed media page and have fun with it. And that's what colouring should be all about. So thank you to Jeff Haney. For sending me these pictures and for sending me both copies of your book I really appreciate it so we're just gonna jump right in and have fun coloring these pages so firstly the first thing I need to decide is which one I would like to do now This one is really cute, but then this one is kind of screaming out to me as well. Oh, it's such a tough decision. I'm, I'm going to go ahead with this one first, I think. We'll try the pirate cat. I believe he's named all of his pages um, off the top of my head. I don't know what it's called, I'm afraid. But we're going to go ahead and, because I'm going to be using alcohol markers, I just want to protect my table. So we're going to put a sheet of blotting paper underneath. And I have Pro Markers, Spectrum Noirs, Arteza Everblends. And yeah, we're just, we're just going to go with it. So I thought I would do this as a colour and chat. How are you all? I hope you're keeping well. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do the eye first, because that's what's calling to be coloured. So, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I apologise if the shadowing or anything like that. So this is an Artie's Everblend I'm using, and it is in the colour saffron yellow so yeah I've been doing lots of colouring ready for my end of month review I've got eight pages done so far and we've just gone past the middle of the month so doing pretty well I think this will be hopefully added to it it's a nice bright yellow and then I'm going to go for spring green again Arteza Everblend um, so yeah this coronavirus stuff is everywhere <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble on about it so a funky eye funky is good for those of you that are American and think funky is bad no funky is good it means awesome <laughs> so I think we'll go for red and maybe gold on his jacket so let's find I feel like a nice deep red would be nice uh, this is wine red Arteza Everblend 
and I'm just gonna firstly go around all the frilly lace so I can kind of I don't know if anybody else does that I'm sure they do I just kind of like to make myself a barrier so I don't um, colour into that part This little mouse or rat here is adorable. And that's really fine work to get into there, so I've got to be very careful. There we go. Literally just pop in the tip of the pen <laughs> under his claws there so I don't um, colour the wrong part. doesn't matter too much because um, I'm going to be probably going over with a gold gel pen. Or a white Fosca pen. So I'm sorry my page is at a slant at the moment. I just want to make sure I get into all these little nooks and crannies. <laughs> So have you all had a good colouring month? How many have you managed to do so far? I'm in competition with Ashley. <laughs> she um, messaged me last night and she'd done a couple more pages for the month. So I believe she's ahead of me at the moment. But, um, yeah. It's all about enjoying the process. a really nice deep red and it kind of reminds me of the three musketeers a bit even though I've never seen the film it just reminds me of that okay so then we're gonna come around his hook I think I'll try and do this video in two parts so the first part we'll try and get all of the um, the base colour down with uh, mark pens and then part two we'll come back and work on shading and like gel pen and things like that I think that's a rip in his shirt there. He's been fighting with another cat. There we go. So what I'm also enjoying doing with most of my pages at the moment is just doing like a little watercolour border around the image. And I think it, it kind of sets off nicely. So we may do that with this one as well. So do you guys prefer doing like a mark base and then colouring with pencils over the top? Or... Do you prefer going straight in with pencil or just mark a pen? Mine varies depending on my mood. Um, at the moment, I'm I've just finished quite a big 
picture with pencils so it's it's a nice relief for my hands just to work with marker pens but by the time we do the second part of this video my hands will have had a rest and I'll be able to go in and do the shading there we go because these alcohol mar markers work really well for a page but I find if you don't give them shading the image can still look flat and I don't know I find when I use pencils for shading over the top it really brings it to life and you can get in all the creases of his jacket and really define what he's wearing so that's one side of the jacket done I think we'll start on this arm now We're going to go around, sorry if I'm turning my page, I seem to be doing that recently. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to have a sip of drink. So we were meant to be going for coffee at the weekend with one of our friends but I'm a little reluctant to go now. My partner is still saying oh yeah we'll be fine, we should go but I don't know, I'm a little reluctant. It's just you know why, why risk it for a coffee? We can have coffee in the comfort of our flat <laughs> and not get coronavirus. <laughs> I do think the whole situation with the uh, shopping is rather ridiculous though. It's gotten way out of hand. And I think shops really need to implement a uh, rationing system. <laughs> so I've, I've checked the internet this morning to get a home food delivery and there's no spaces available on any of the supermarkets for three weeks. Which means we're going to have to go into town to get shopping. which means going on public transport because neither of us drive. So yeah, there's that. That'll be fun. And then there's the chance of, you know, when we get there they probably won't even have what we need anyway, so... main thing is we all stay safe I'm very happy in the comfort of my own home just to be colouring and you know play a little xbox now and then <laughs> So these lacy bits that are really tricky to colour around, I am going to be going over those with a white Posca pen just to bring them out again. I want to define that it is like lacing. I 
will be back on Friday with another Flip Through Friday. Haven't decided what I'm going to flip through yet, but I will be there. I am waiting on a couple of books from AliExpress, but I'm not hope I don't think they'll come in time for Friday's flip through. And I am waiting on a book from a publisher that's contacted me. So I will be reviewing that book when it comes. That's due to come at the end of March. <clears throat> so that may have to go into April's um, videos. But that's exciting. I'm nearly at 200 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. It's so nice to see those numbers grow and that you're all enjoying what I'm doing. That is what this channel is all about. And I'm enjoying it too, and that's the main thing. I don't think if I was enjoying it, I wouldn't want to do it, so... Every single night, I lay in bed and I go through everybody's YouTube videos that have been uploaded that day. And... That is my nighttime routine. I absolutely just love watching all of your guys' videos. So if you watch me and you're not subscribed or you haven't sort of commented before or you have a YouTube video, please do um, get in touch with me. I love reading your comments. And if you have a YouTube channel, please do leave your link in the comment section of this video and I'll go and check you out. We are a community and I think it's important to share the love. So we are nearly done with his jacket. This paper that I'm colouring on is called Navigator Paper and I buy it off of Amazon UK. It comes in a bright yellow packet and it's like ultra smooth so it's really good for alcohol markers. So that is what I print out on. So that looks nice, I like that. We might do the feather red as well, I have not decided yet. I want a kind of um, yellowy brown colour Whoops. for his shirt, I think. Um, so let's get my colour chart out. Let's have a look. So we could do beach sand, but I think that's a little too brown. Pearl would look quite nice. That's kind of a brownie grey. I think that would work. And I don't think I've used that colour before. So let's go with that. Pearl. There we go. So this is A751 of the Everblends. And we're just going to do his shirt with this. And we'll do this bit here. Tomorrow is Work in Progress Wednesday. I have got several whips on the go. So I may 
try and record a video um, of myself doing one of those. Um, or I may do the second part of my Colour With Me series that I've started. We are working in... I don't even remember. We are working in... What are we working in? Imagimorphia. Imagimorphia. So I may record part two of that. Because that is technically now a work in progress. So with this one, I'm getting kind of, can you see, like little streaky lines? So I'm just going to go over again and smooth those out. I find that the um, Artesas sometimes do that. They're not as juicy as like the Pro Markers or the Spectrums. So sometimes they just need a second coat. And then they look a lot better like that that will dry to this color so don't worry even though I've given it two coats it will still dry the same color as this so let's start on this side So let me know down in the comments below if you have any of Jeff Haney's books. I will be leaving the links in the description box below where you can purchase the Grayscale and the Line Art edition of this book. And also he is currently working on his third book. So I can't wait for that to come out. He um, shared a few little uh, sneaky peeks of what he's working on. And it looks awesome. And again, I'm just going to give this side a little second coat because it's a little bit streaky. There you go, you can already see this side is dried the same as that side. So, um, let's see, the ruffles around his neck, um, I feel like that should be red, I'm not sure whether I should do it red or the same colour as his shirt, hmm. I'm going to go for red. I'm going to go back to wine red. And we'll start by trying to go in all of these bits of fur. Like so. not decided what colour I'm going to do Mr Cat yet. I was thinking maybe grey might be quite nice and then we could go in with some darker greys and blacks with the shading. And if my head is in the way I do apologise. strange because when I colour I like to get right over my page and sort of almost lay on the table <laughs> so when I'm recording I have to kind of remember not to 
There we go. So, I think I might go in with a black fine liner or gel pen around his eye just to pronunciate that a little bit more. I've got black fine liner sharpie here. This is the ultra fine sharpie and um, we're just gonna fill these white lines in and hopefully that will really make the eye pop Whoa. hopefully again my head's not in the way I am sorry if it is There we go. I think we're going to do this bit here black as well. Like so. Okay, I think these are pretty bits on his shirt sort of shoulder pads with maybe some like gold lace work so we'll leave those for now we'll get a, a light grey for Mr Rat over here I'm going to use Spectrum Noir IG2 on this little guy Kind of reminds me of Splinter from Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles a little bit. <laughs> He's so cute, but like, grr at the same time. There we go. He's got a little foot there. a little black eye patch with the sharpie like so I kind of feel like putting him in like a black jacket so we're gonna go in with IG6 and this is kind of a really dark grey. I don't want to do black because then you won't see the shading that I put in. Because black on black, just it won't work. So I'm going to go in with a dark grey and then we'll go shading with black on his jacket. like so and then the cuffs and the inside of the jacket that was IG6 by the way I'm going to go in with IG7 which is slightly darker Being careful to avoid the hair braid there. Like 
like so. I think we'll do his collar with that one as well. He is funky. <laughs> um, I'd like a light pink for his ears. So I've got a pro marker here. We've got pink carnation. Um, what else do I have? Rose pink. I was looking for maybe blossom. Bear with me one second. I have some of my pro markers in here. They're pro markers. There's blossom. So this is Blossom in the Pro Marker, and this is a very light pink that I just want to pop on his ears. We're going to go with the Sharpie Fine Line on his nose, and then we're going to take that IG2 again. That we used for the wrap itself and colour his sword with that. I'm going to leave the handle so we can do some like gold gilding or something with that. I think we'll use the IG2 on the hook as well. And we'll do some silver work with pencils on that. Okay. So then the cap itself, I'm going to take IG1, which is a really light grey from the Spectrums. And we'll do his paw first. See, it's a really nice light grey which will allow for some shading later on. And these um, Spectrum Noirs are so easy to colour with. I find with the Pro Markers, they're great. I love them. I've had them for years and years and years. Um, I probably should try and buy some replacement nibs for them because some of them are quite soft now and I do find I prefer a harder nibbed pen. Um, some of the Arteza can be a little too hard but I find with the Spectrums they're, they're just nice, they're just right. <laughs> And they're nice and juicy. Like so, do his little beard. Now, Jeff bases all of his drawings on his own cats. So all the characters that you see in his books are based off of his own cats that he's studied and sort of, you know, had in front of him and drawn or used pictures. So uh, there is the kitty cat, just missed a bit of his whiskers here, and it's what the little rat's holding on to. So I have to stop the video just for a second there because my other half came home. 
Um, so I just, with the tan pro marker, I just coloured in his little pig leg with it. And I'm also going to go around the fringing of his coat with it. In fact, that bit should be the grey. So I'll go back in with the grey. There we go. Now we can do his hat. Um, I'm kind of wanting to stick with the the red theme I've got going on here and put red here too. Um, haven't decided what colour I want to do his hat yet. And I'm assuming these are all like little feathers. So we need to decide. I think we'll go for a black hat with like red um detailing i'm gonna go in with ig8 of the spectrum noirs i'm just gonna turn my work to the side for a minute so i can get around all this lace work can tell I've used this pen before because I made this softer. <laughs> so nice to work with though. Okay. So we might go for red feathers on the hat or we might just do these little triangles sort of red and gold and make him look quite regal. He is a pirate after all, he has all the treasure. And again, it doesn't really matter if I go over the filigree uh, lace work because we will be going in to correct it. But I am trying to avoid it as much as possible. So as you can see, this is more of a, a really dark grey. There are still a couple more shades darker than this of the IGs.
and then we'll do the other side I haven't decided yet whether I want to do black on his patch because Jeff's put some detailing on it if I bring it up closer and it kind of looks like it should be glittery or like diamonds maybe um, so I kind of want to maybe make that silver like diamond encrusted <laughs> Um, with um, maybe a, a Pentel Jewel Metallic, would look quite nice, nice and sparkly. Just going around all of this lace work. If there's any bits I missed, I will go in with the ultra fine sharpie when it comes to um, using the Posca on it. go so that's his hat just need to do this bit at the top here And I think because the feathers are so fine, I'm just going to use pencil work on those and not um, any marker because I don't want to like go outside of the lines and things with that. Excuse that tone, that's my <laughs> partner's phone. Okay, so I am going to use the wine red again just because I want to keep it sort of limited colour palette. And I do like the red on him.
gonna go over that a second time to smooth it out. people probably watching this thinking why don't you use the broad end of the, the pen you wouldn't have to do as many strokes and the reason is I really don't like that end of the pen to be fair I think he looks awesome and there's my partner's phone again I'm gonna do the outline of his hat in the red I kind of want to call him Nelson or Admiral or something. That's <laughs> what he's reminding me of. Just go around these little bits here. There we go. I like that. I think he looks awesome. So that concludes part one of our video. Um, again, I don't want to do the feathers or anything in alcohol marker or this big feather here. I want to try and put some nice detailing in with pencil on part two of our video. I will try and get that uploaded next week for you, but this one will be uploaded today, and this is the 17th of March. So I hope you enjoyed watching me sort of plan out what I'm doing with this cat, and don't forget to go and check out Jeff Haney's books on Amazon, the link for that is below, and I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe. And I will see you next time, guys. Happy colouring. Bye.